When Elon Musk himself confirms something is real, you know the world is about to change. For years, the idea of a self-powered car, one that never needs fuel, charging, or even a battery swap, has been dismissed as science fiction. But now, buried deep within the heart of Africa, a revolutionary invention has emerged, leaving even the brightest minds in disbelief. And yes, Elon Musk has just confirmed it's not only real, it works. African Sunrise, futuristic car driving on empty road. The story begins in Harare, Zimbabwe. Local inventor Maxwell Chikambutso has been quietly working in a small, unassuming workshop away from the spotlight of Silicon Valley. But inside, he has been perfecting something that could rewrite the rules of transportation forever, a vehicle powered by a mysterious microsonic energy system. No engine roar. No charging cables. No fuel pumps. Yet the car moves and keeps moving day after day. Hidden testing footage. A leaked video surfaced online, showing Maxwell's car driving across rough terrain for over 500 kilometers without stopping once to refuel or recharge. The footage caught the attention of curious engineers, online skeptics, and, surprisingly, a private Tesla research group. At first, Tesla's internal experts suspected a clever hoax, but the data from independent observers told a different story. The private demonstration. In a discreet meeting at an undisclosed African airstrip, Tesla engineers flew in under heavy confidentiality agreements. Elon Musk reportedly joined via secure video link. One witness recalls, they ran the car for hours. The power output was constant, stable, like it was connected to an endless source of energy. The scientists just stared. They couldn't figure it out. The technology behind it. The car's secret lies in something Maxwell calls microsonic energy conversion, a process that harnesses high-frequency vibrations from the environment and converts them into usable electrical power. This isn't solar. This isn't wind. It's something entirely new, and if scaled, it could mean the end of fossil fuels forever. Global shockwaves. As news leaked, major automakers reportedly began making quiet inquiries. A European energy conglomerate allegedly offered Maxwell a nine-figure deal for the patent, but he refused. Why? Because, according to him, this technology belongs to humanity, not corporations. The turning point. Then came the moment that made headlines worldwide. Elon Musk, after reviewing Tesla's confidential test data, tweeted just three words that set the Internet on fire. It's real. Incredible. The challenge ahead. But now, with proof in hand, Maxwell faces unprecedented pressure. Government agencies, private investors, and even shadowy figures have started circling, each desperate to control the future of limitless transportation. And in the midst of it all, Maxwell made a decision that would shock everyone. The decision that shook the room. In a press conference streamed to millions worldwide, Maxwell stepped up to the microphone. Cameras flashed. The crowd hushed. Instead of announcing a billion-dollar deal or a partnership with Tesla, he declared something no one expected. I will open source this technology for free. Gasps echoed through the room. Reporters scrambled to tweet his words before the Internet could explode. Maxwell explained that his microsonic energy system would be available to any manufacturer, any country, and any individual without licensing fees. The move instantly made him a hero to some and a dangerous threat to others. The backlash. Behind the scenes, the reaction was anything but calm. An anonymous whistleblower later revealed that three major oil companies had an emergency board meeting within hours of the announcement. Governments began quietly drafting energy compliance laws that could slow down or outright block the car's adoption. Yet on social media, hashtags like hashtag Limitless Drive and hashtag Maxwell Car trended for days, with millions hailing this as a true green revolution. Tesla's move. Elon Musk himself reached out directly to Maxwell. Sources close to the inventor claim Musk offered not money, but collaboration. A joint Tesla-Maxwell project to develop a fleet of self-powered electric vehicles for global mass production. For the first time, Maxwell hesitated. Was this partnership the fastest way to get his invention into millions of hands, or the first step toward losing control over it? Unseen Threats as these high-level talks continued, Maxwell began noticing strange patterns. 
His phone battery drained rapidly during calls. Unmarked vans appeared near his workshop. One night, a small drone hovered outside his home for nearly an hour. The message was clear. Someone or several someones wanted to make sure they controlled the future of microsonic energy at any cost. The hidden test facility. Determined to stay ahead, Maxwell relocated his prototype fleet to a hidden desert facility in Namibia. Here, he began testing the limits of the system, pushing cars to run continuously for weeks without stopping. What he discovered during these stress tests wasn't just revolutionary, it was frightening. The microsonic system seemed to be pulling more than just ambient vibrations. There were unexplained energy spikes, as if it was tapping into a power source deeper and more mysterious than he understood. The energy that shouldn't exist. Late one night, as desert winds howled outside, Maxwell sat in front of a wall of monitors, tracking the car's energy readings. Suddenly, one of the graphs shot upward, far beyond expected range. He double-checked the calibration. No error. The car was producing 300% more power than before, without any change in conditions. But what truly chilled him wasn't the number. It was a pattern. The spikes weren't random. They followed a strange rhythmic pulse, almost like a heartbeat. The scientist's warning. Confused, Maxwell reached out to Dr. Helena Cross, a physicist known for her work on vibrational harmonics. After running the data through her own models, she called Maxwell with a voice that was low and tense. This isn't just pulling energy from mechanical vibrations, Maxwell. This is resonating with something natural, but far larger something that spans a planet. She refused to elaborate over the phone. They agreed to meet in person. The disruption. The next day, as Maxwell prepared to drive to the meeting point, every single car in the hidden facility suddenly shut down at once. Monitors went black. Even handheld devices lost power. Then, just as suddenly, everything turned back on, but the microsonic systems in each vehicle were now running at twice their previous efficiency. It was as if something or someone had remotely tuned them. The clues in the sand. Later that week, satellite images of the Namib Desert reveal massive, circular disturbances in the sand, perfectly symmetrical, each about a kilometer wide, directly surrounding Maxwell's test site. No one could explain how they formed. Maxwell, however, began to suspect that the microsonic energy field was interacting with the Earth itself creating physical effects far beyond transportation. The unasked question. For the first time, Maxwell wondered if this technology could power the world forever. Could it also be capable of something else entirely? Dr. Cross's last words echoed in his mind. You're not just building a car, Maxwell. You might be waking something up. The frequency map at Dr. Cross's private lab. She spread out a large, hand-drawn map across the table. It wasn't a normal geographic chart. It was marked with strange curves, concentric circles, and red dots scattered across continents. These aren't just your test sites, she explained. These are natural resonance nodes, points where the Earth vibrates at a specific harmonic frequency. Your car's microsonic system matches that frequency almost perfectly. Maxwell leaned over the map, tracing a line from his Namib desert site to a point deep in the Congo Basin. The line wasn't random. It matched the locations of ancient megalithic structures, some thousands of years old. The Forgotten Journal. Cross reached into a locked drawer and produced an old, leather-bound journal. The pages were yellowed, the handwriting meticulous. This belonged to an engineer from the 1920s, she said. He claimed to have built a resonance machine that could draw limitless energy from the planet. But his experiment stopped abruptly after strange seismic events started following him. Maxwell turned the pages, stopping at a crude diagram that looked hauntingly familiar, a sphere with concentric waves emanating outward. His invention was not new. The sudden surge. Before they could discuss further, a sharp vibration rattled the lab. Coffee cups trembled. The monitors flickered. Maxwell checked the portable energy meter strapped to his wrist. It was reading an impossible 17 terawatts coming from the direction of his test site. Cross's face went pale. Maxwell, if this continues, you're going to light up every resonance node on this planet at once. The decision. Maxwell had two choices. Shut down the microsonic field. 
keeping the technology secret and safe, but depriving the world of free, clean energy forever, push forward, risk the unknown, and possibly trigger something buried deep beneath the earth for millennia. As the hum of the resonance grew louder, Maxwell realized a choice might not be his to make. The voice and the static. That night, while alone in his workshop, Maxwell heard something over the system's diagnostic speakers. Faint at first, then growing clearer. It was not static. It was a voice. We remember the last time this power was awakened. The signal revealed. Maxwell froze. The voice wasn't human. It had a layered harmonic quality, as if thousands of tones were speaking in perfect unison. You have touched the Earth's memory, it continued. We are the resonance, not alive as you know life, but part of the frequency that binds this world together. Maxwell's knuckles whitened on the desk. What do you want? To warn you, the voice replied. The last civilization that used this power vanished. They built wonders, powered cities without sun or wind, but they grew careless. The resonance they tapped spread beyond their control. It woke what sleeps beneath the crust. The awakening. Suddenly, the lights in Maxwell's workshop surged with a blinding white glow. Outside, a low rumble rolled through the ground. Not an earthquake, but a pulse. It raced outward, touching every resonance node on Cross's map in seconds. In Cairo, streetlights flickered in patterns. In the Amazon, ancient stone circles began to hum. In the Arctic, buried structures thawed and trembled. The choice made. Maxwell slammed a sequence of switches, initiating the emergency shutdown sequence. The hum weakened, the lights dimmed, but not completely. It's too late to stop it now, the voice whispered. The pattern has been set, but you can guide it or let it consume you. Maxwell swallowed hard, feeling the weight of the world press down on him. Then I'll guide it. One year later, a year later, the world looked different. The microsonic field, carefully tuned, powered entire regions without a single drop of fuel. Tesla's engineers... One skeptical, now partnered with Maxwell, embedding resonance receivers into their vehicles. But there were still places Maxwell avoided. Places where the hum grew too loud, and the ground seemed to breathe. Late at night, in those quiet hours when the resonance whispered just for him, Maxwell still heard the voice. We are still here, Maxwell, and we are still listening.